Good afternoon, Poke Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Regulation D video, bringing you a Spy Dops team. I haven't used Spy Dops at all, ever. I think even in game, I haven't used Spy Dops, which is a shame because I really do think it's designed. It does feel like a very underwhelming Pokemon, which is why not a lot of people use it or nobody uses it quite literally. Um, it has very low base stats on top of it all, but it is an interesting Pokemon in the sense that it does have access to String Shot, which can harshly lower both Pokemon speeds on the opposing side of the field. It also has Silk Trap, which lowers if which lowers the speed of the contact Pokemon that hits you while you protect. So it does have interesting things about it. Are there other Pokemon that do this? Maybe. But hey, we'll never get to use Spide Ops again, which is kind of why I saw this team from Ken's on the Pokesports Discord. I was like, well, I guess I have to use it. Like it's there. Someone made it for me. <laughs> I have no expectations for what's about to happen. Apparently, it's a pretty decent lead next to the Reggie Drago. Ken's gave me like a big write up on what's good and what he does with this team and how to play it. The Spy Dops leaves with the Reggie Drago. You go for the String Shot turn one, protect with the Reggie Drago just so you don't take damage that turn one. Harshly lower the opposing sides of the field speed, and then next turn attack with the Reggie Drago. This is interesting because it kind of helps against Pokemon that just like want to set hard Tailwind, right? You have the option of going for two String Shots just to bring them back down to a manageable enough speed. And then just take advantage with Reggie Drago's attacks those following turns. Regardless, that's the team. <laughs> Wish me luck. Let's see what happens on to today's video. Golden Go Mousehold. It's been a while. Golden Go Golden Go Mousehold also have the Wo Chen, Heatran, Watersh, most likely, and the Landorus Therian. I don't hate this. I don't see Fluttermane, so that means like Reggie Drago, yes. And is it time? Like first, first game, first turn. It's it's Spy Dops time. I was told by Ken's that to avoid to bring Spy Dops whenever you see a Tauntmon, and I don't really see a Tauntmon that is too common. Like maybe this, maybe that, maybe Mousehold, but like, is it that common? I don't know. Regardless, pretty decent opportunity for us would be the Fluttermane. It outspeeds the majority of their team and can deal with the majority of the team. The biggest issue that we have against them is that Heat Ran. And we can't bring the art. Actually, we don't have a great way of dealing with Heat Ran, period. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I guess Urshifu is our best bet against it, which feels weird to say, but it's kind of true. Like, what other Pokemon are we going to bring against the Heat Ran? We can't go for Fire Moves with the Arcanine. And we can't really deal with it with the Rillaboom because it's going to Grass Terra. And even if it doesn't Grass Terra, then it's Fire Steel. We definitely can't deal with it with Rillaboom. Yeah, we're just going to have to hope that Heat Ran can be dealt with early on. But we'll see. Okay, I am I think I'm alright with these leads. I think I'm okay. I think I can tolerate. Here's the one thing that I'm concerned with. And that's dying too early. From specifically... Oh, I also just realized I have lunge for the Wo Chen, but I think it's more important I get the speed control. I think I'm going to water Terra just so I can take the make it rain a lot better. And I'm going to go for the string shot. Let's cross our fingers here. I guess I don't have to, but this is just covering a lot of bases. I don't have to go for the speed control now that I think about it a little bit more because my right Jericho should outspeed both these Pokemon already and they don't really have a form of speed control on their team. But protecting is also very helpful for just lowering the special attack on the Golden Go before the Golden Go can get to hit the Reggie Drago. Anyway, we got Water Bug Boy. Oh, okay. Nasty Plot turn one. Scary. And they Snarl. Okay, so at least the Protect was worthwhile. And they're confirmed and not Scarfed. So I should be able to outspeed with Reggie Drago here. Good as gold is going to get protected by the string shot. But we got the speed drop on the Wo Chen yet. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of unnecessary. Regardless, though, Dragon Energy should still hurt. And I'll lunge. It was necessary for the lunge. 
If I can lunge before they can snarl, they won't be able to snarl next turn. Is what a, a bad play excuse looks like. That's fine. Hold up. That's perfectly fine. Interesting that they'd even bother doing that. I just take the Wochen for free then. Listen, if you want to do that, be my guest. That didn't do a lot of damage, but lunge at four times effectiveness and stab is enough damage. Yo, Spidops just got a KO in today's video. That's all I'm saying. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Water bug OP. All right, Lander is coming out. Ah, am I concerned? I don't think so. I think what we do is we go for the string shot again because Landorus does actually have a chance of being faster than Reggie Drago. I'm going to have to deal with uh, this Golden Go eventually. I'm just going to hope not soon. Yeah, let's string shot again. Protectively str a string shot. That's it. If you don't want to attack with your Golden Go, we'll ignore it until it's a problem. All right, they go for the Rock Side. We have Covert Cloak, so we should... Be fine here. Yeah, eat that up. Spy Dops. Make it rain. We resist that. Even at plus two. Respect the Spy Dops. Come on, Spy Dops. You got this. I believe in you. 100 HP. Makes it happen. 16 HP left. Special attack. Now drop by one. Take this string shot, you stupid Landorus. Now, here's the thing. You, you guys might be thinking, hey, Kevin, what if Landorus protects? Wouldn't you be in trouble? You know, you got to be a little bit worried about that Landorus Protect. I'm not, because I have Faint. <laughs> we use the Faint, we crack the Protect, we take the Dragon Energy. Let's do it. All right, they don't even Protect. Even better. Fine by me. We just get a bunch of damage off on the Landorus. Gonna be able to one-shot the Landorus and half health the gold and go. I might lose both my Pokemon this turn to a Mega Rain, but I think it'll all be worth it. Because we got them down... Oh, I actually get to keep the Reggie Drago. That's a free uh, Draco Meteor that I get to get. Spy Dops. Going down like a soldier. I'll respect the Spy Dops. All right. Golden Go with lefties. Clear this is a very tanky Golden Go. I think Fluttermane is the play. It at least spooks the Golden Go a little bit. As they go in with Ursh, okay. It just spooked both of them then. At 43 HP, I should be able to take an Aqua Jet. And I got Speed Rays here. I think what I do is I just go for the Draco Meteor onto the Ursh. And Shadow Ball onto the Golden Go. It's tough Terrestrialization to use though. They could Terra Water the Golden Go. Which means I should just Dragon Energy. Nah, Dragon Energy doesn't make sense. Because I have 43 HP left. Do I Daz and Gleam then? Might have to. We're gonna. We're gonna Daz and Gleam because I have a feeling Water Terra is gonna come right now. All right, here's a terrestrialization. It's time for the water. Golden go. Water terror, okay. Gleam, I think, is more cost-effective because of the potential sash on the Urshifu. Because this way, I get to have a lot of damage onto Ursh, break it down to its sash. They surging strike to my Reggie Drago anyway, so I got that damage on the Ursh that I wanted. The issue is I might drop both of my Pokemon this turn now. Also, did Earth get broken down to Sash or was it just that healthy? This is a neutral Shadow Ball. I live it. Nice. Amazing. Uh, I can get Aqua Jetted now. Which does pose a problem. But I at least force the Urshifu onto the Aqua Jet. I can bring my own Urshifu out. Now, is Surging Strikes critting... Higher damage output than a Drain Punch. Stab and crit. This gets stab and neutral. This gets resisted. I think Drain Punch is more. I could be wrong. Actually, Drain Punch is only 75 base power. 
it isn't more. It's surging strikes. And there's no point of protecting, so I'm just going to Gleam again. Yeah, there's the Aqua Jet. They're forced to Aqua Jet that Flutter main spot, though. I hopefully should be able to outspeed their Golden Go here. I do. That's not enough! No! I'm not even sure if an Aqua Jet next turn would be enough. What are they doing to me? They just Shadow Ball. I may V. I should eat this. Okay. I can take one more Shadow Ball. So I'm actually considering going for the Urshifu spot here with the Aqua Jet. I could take another Shadow Ball. I'm not sure I can take a close combat. So let's go for the Aqua Jet into the Urshi spot. Okay. It's a stressful game, man. I'm definitely sure that I can take another Dazzling Gleam. Okay, they Aqua Jet me, but they're not going to do any damage with that. All right, my Aqua Jet, I get rid of the Urshi. Now, as long as that first turn wasn't a speed tie, because I am not a max speed Urshifu, we should be fine. As long as this doesn't crit, we should be fine. 39 HP. <sighs> Surging Strikes is the way. Surging Strikes is the play. You done goofed, baby. You can't do that against Ursh. You done goofed. <laughs> they try to get more lefties recovery. Not gonna happen. And just like that, gonna take a game with Spy Dops. Spy Dops not only getting a really nice KO, I completely blunder turn one, but did I really? I don't know. I feel like that string shot might have been an unnecessary play, kind of an unnecessary caution. But hey, I'm using spy dops. I'm trying to be very careful because any wrong move when you use spy dops, you're just going to fumble the ball. So anyway, I guess we're taking a dub in today's video. GG's. Yo, we up against Dua Lipa, bringing the Bramble Gas. Okay. Uh, clearly going to be like some Tailwind Wind, Wind, Wind Rider shenaniganery. I get it. I seize it. I also see this. A little bit worried about that with my Reggie Drago, but we are Steel Terra with Terra Blast, so maybe that'll be fine. Uh, the other thing I'm concerned with is a Taunt on the Torn, but that would rely on them kind of knowing what the Spy Dops do, and I don't think they know what the Spy Dops do. Arcanine in the back is really sick. I think last but not least, might be a late game Flutter main. I would love a Pokemon that can resist, like, everything Iron Hands has. Rillaboom really, might honestly be a play for us, too. It's not the worst Pokemon in the world. We get a fake-out opportunity as well. It'll deal with their, their Urshifu, be able to stand in front of the Bramble, Bra uh, Bramble Gas and not care. Like, we have options. Nothing on their team resists Rillaboom either, except for the Bramble Gas. And we got Pokemon for Bramble Gas. Heck, we even got Spydops for Bramble Gas. All right, Dua Lipa. Can't wait to defeat Dua Lipa. Only one way to find out, man. With Spy Dops, nonetheless. Torn and Flutter. Yo, they're going in. I respect it, but they're going in, in. All right, um, they could just bleak with my Spy Dops and I'll lose it th this turn. But if that's what they do, that's what they do. I'm going to String Shot. I have to assume that they want to attack Reggie Drago. Okay. Ah, that does kind of suck. I'll be real. They must know that, like, some form of speed control is coming their way. Ah, uh, they just bleak wind me. I should be able to take one, though, right? It's a spread move. Yeah, we eat one at least. Hey, we slowed down the torrent. That might matter, maybe. All right, now I think we have to silk trap just in case. Um, actually, is a contact move for silk track, or is this like all moves? Direct contact. Well, I gotta protect anyway. I gotta keep our friend alive here. Can't just let it go down. Uh, I think Steel Terra and Dragon Energy might be fine. 
Nah, I'd rather just get the Terror Blast off now. Catch him off guard. Catch Dual Leap off guard. Now that we know they can't protect, because they protect the last turn. And they don't have any screens or anything up. They might get the speed control with the Tailwind, but if they do, they do. I'm totally okay with that. Maybe not totally okay with that. I accept it. Alright, here's my Silk Trap. Exclusive move! And they just go for a Tailwind. Yeah, fair enough. They were negative 2 speed, so Bleak Wind would have been pointless. They go for the Dazzling Gleam. Not going to do any damage, though. Now let's see what flavor of Fluttermane this is. Can this Fluttermane live this Terra Blast? Is the question. Big steel damage, baby! Most Fluttermanes can, because base 150 or 135 special defense. Yeah, that ate, that ate that for breakfast. That didn't care at all. Regardless... Do we take the hard swap here? No, it's not necessary. I think I go for the string shot again. And then just go for the Draco Meteor here. Onto the Torn. Yeah, they, they hard swap the Flutter out. They notice they can't do anything to what's on the field right now. I respect it. They switch in the Arcanine. Not too afraid of the Arcanine, to be honest. And if I can get the Silk Trap, that would be great. Because I got to assume... Okay, never mind. There was a world where they missed that. But uh, yeah, if I got that... Not Silk Trap. What's it called? String Shot. That would have been awesome. Onto the Arcanine. But no matter. Draco Meteor does connect. This is a bajillion damage. Yeah, nice. Straight one shot. Our friend Tornadus. All right, we can make some plays now, though. A couple of plays, actually. Um, I gotta think this one through. If I bring in Rilla, I could fake out their Arcanine. And then Draco their Arcanine. Yeah, that, that's the play. Oh, they bring out Ursh. Okay. I'm still fine with this. Oh, it's a Dark Ursh. I'm less fine with that. I can only fake out one. I think that one is going to be their Ursh. I'm going to hard swap my Arcanine in. I'm going to try to actually keep my Reggie Drago alive for as long as I can. I'm assuming the fire move is going to go into that Reggie Drago spot. Just because they can't really deal with the Reggie Drago with their Fluttermane in the back. This Intimidate should help me no matter what they decide to go for. Okay, it's still anyone's game here. They detect there, that's fair. It's where the fake out was going. At least we learn that they're not scarfed. It's good info to have. Good information. Now, what do I fear more? The Ursh or the Arcanine? I think it's the Ursh, if I'm going to be real. I think I want to Woodhammer this Ursh. I might want a wood hammer and hard swap or wood hammer extreme speed. I just don't want to take a close combat right now. Yeah, I'm going to give them my Drago. This will also give me a second Intimidate for later. They're actually swapping the Fluttermane here. I don't think Fluttermane's going to like this wood hammer, though. I don't think that Fluttermane's going to love that wood hammer. I'll be real. And I don't think that a negative one Arcanine can knock out my, my Rillaboom in one shot either. Hold up. There's the Flare Blitz. Oh, it almost does though. Wow. That's honestly surprising how much that did. Even negative one. Holy Arcanine, dude. That's a little terrifying. At least that Arcanine will be locked onto negative two now. But that Urshifu is still a problem. They're Tailwind Peters as well, so... There is some good news here. It's not the worst... Worst news ever. Let's bring in my Arcanine again as they bring in their Urshifu. I'm hoping that this negative one on Urshifu is enough to stop the close combat from one-shotting my... Anything, but I'm not so sure it is. Alright, back comes the Urshifu. 
Can't we defeat Dua Lipa? All right, we got Arcanine on the field. Double Intimidates on their Arcanine. Single Intimidate on the Urshi. There's no point to protecting. I am almost wondering if they're going to detect again. To the point where I'm considering a rock slide here and then a Draco Meteor onto their Arcanine. I think I'm going to do that. They don't protect again, but the Draco Meteor is able to one shot. I didn't expect that. I wish I would have went for like a Flare Blitz, though. <laughs> would have been a little better than a rock slide. They go for the CC onto my Reggie Drago. That is enough to KO. But you know what? They just lower their own defenses here. Is the negative one CC enough to KO my Arcanine, though? That's the real question. My Arcanine is practically full HP. In fact, it might be full HP after this turn. Yeah, it will be. Listen, man, it's time. We Flare Blitz. We hope it's enough. They're going to go for a close combat again. They're going to be negative two defenses. And this Flare Blitz should finish off. Bro, we live at 27. Negative two defenses. Can the Flare Blitz finish off? Big Flare Blitz. Come on. Big damage. Knocking out Urshifu. Urshifu's going to faint. And Arcanine's going to faint too. But since the Urshifu fainted first, we take this dub. Holy! These battles, man. Two battles where uh, Spy Dops does a thing. You defeated Dua Lipa. You bet we did. And that's two undefeated with Spy Dops. What can I say? <laughs> Didn't think I'd say that. But on to game three. Let's see what happens. Holy Gudra. Oh, no. Spy Dops. You got this, buddy? <laughs> You got Gudra? Maybe. I mean, it's... Maybe. There's a lot of scary Pokemon on their team. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like there isn't. But a lot of manageable Pokemon, too. I think if we're against the Gudra... We need a special attacker, so we want the Fluttermane. But Gudra can just sit there and heavy slam us right away. Should I save... Nah, I'm Fairy Terror here. Might not be the best case scenario anywhere. My Real Boom does have Taunt. But it also has Wood Hammer. And if it's Sap Sipper, then I am extra screwed there too. I think it's Ursh and Flutterman though. Those are my best two. That Gudra is going to take over unless I can shut it down quickly. I just have to do enough damage to it with my Reggie Drago to where I can bring in my Fluttermane and finish it off. But that's me relying on two Pokemon to take out one Pokemon. So the rest of the Pokemon I have in the back, like, really got to put in some extra, extra work here. But hey, man. If that's the team that beats Spy Ops, that's the team that beats Spy Ops. Like, what can I say? I, I think there is still... A it's not like the end-all be-all. It's not like I have a horrible matchup and the worst matchup in the world. Like, I can play this out and I can play better than my opponent and, and squeeze out a victory here. These fireworks, they're for us. They're for our victory. Gabo, I like you, Gabo, but you ain't got nothing. All right, bring it out. Spooky number one and spooky number two. Hear me out. I'm, I'm just gonna. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. The string shot does feel kind of pointless, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to steal Terra just so I don't get heavy slammed. Oh, but then I'm weak to body presses. I, they're not going to body press me turn one. I also don't want to get spear broken. Yeah, we go for the Dragon Energy. Now they could protect in Spirit Break, but I think most Gujras don't carry Protect. My opponent got me silent for a second, I'll be real. 
It's usually hard getting me to shut up, but my opponent got me to shut up here. I had to take time and actually think. It's not an easy life we're in right now. All right, they just go for fake out. Wow. Boring. I, that wasn't in the cards. And then Heavy Slam. Okay. Not bad. That's good. That was a good thrasilization. They're now string shotted. We got speed control now, baby. We're in this. Now. Um, I could do it again, but it doesn't make a difference. I'll just start going for lunges. And I could even just, like, commit to getting rid of this Grim. Worry about the Gujra later. They could also just swap in Heat Ren, though. Let's Dragon Energy to at least punish their swap if they decide to swap here. Worst case scenario, they get lunged. Best case scenario, I get a Dragon Energy on the Gudra and whatever they swap into. Like, I still have pressure here. I don't have to make hard reads when I have all the momentum. They're going to Terrastalize. Please don't be Fairy. Okay, GG. <laughs> you did it. Oh, that... That sucks. That sucks bad. Okay. Okay, Gobble, you beat Spide Ops. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that is really bad. How do we come back from this and they body press us there? That's a lot of damage. You bet it is. Okay, well, th thankfully they're not setting up on us, which I might be okay with. I wonder if I get this lunge off here. All right, they set up light screens already. Why bother hitting the Gudra? Can my back Pokemon deal with this Gudra now? That it's fairy? Maybe with surging strikes. But not if they're shell armor. Yeah, I'm going to double into the Gudra. They actually swapped the Gudra out. Wow. Whatever's coming in is getting lunged then. It's heat ran. Gobble, listen. You don't have to try this hard. I'm using Spy Dops, man. Give me a break here. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, no. All right. Hard swapping back out. The good news is they can't terrestrialize that heat right now, so I, I should be able to just bring in Urshifu and be fine next time I see it. Like, at this point, just let the Reggie Drago go down. Get rid of it for me. But I guess they just want to reset their stats. Lando coming out. Okay. All right. Another nothing turn for me. Where I got to accomplish nothing. Now, I know they're trying to bait me. Into just going for. A dragon energy again into that lander spot. I don't think I want to fall for it. So I'll just go for a string shot. And a Terra Blast onto that Lando spot. I want my Reggie Drago to go down. Like, I really do. It's not doing anything for me anymore. Which which sucks, because it was a wasted attack. Oh, no, they just was were about to let me Dragon Energy it. Or not Dragon Energy, uh, Draco Meteor it. Now I'm just doing no damage there. Oh, I guess U-Turn is fine, too. I was faster than their lander is. Okay, that's also good information to have. A lot of the Pokemon they have left on their team all drop to Urshifu. I just have to make sure I get Urshifu in safely. All right, Grim's coming back out. They get a fake out turn. Flash can out to Spide Ops. They're actually wasting their time with these two. That's good because they waste the fake out turn from their Grim. Again, I'm open to just knocking out my Reggie Drago. I'm going to Silk Trap and let it go. I'm giving, it, I'm giving it to them at this point. I'm like, here, take it. I don't I don't want it. I want a free switch. Give me the free switch. You're going to have to knock this out eventually. <laughs> All right, we Silk Trap. They set up Reflect. Okay, so they waste their fake out turn. 
And I get a free Terra Blast. Okay, they let me Terra Blast. Not gonna be a lot of damage, but listen, I'll take any chip available. Dude, they really don't want to get rid of this Reggie Jago because they know what comes next. Once this Reggie Jago goes away, like, big damage is gonna happen. I have a feeling they're about to parting shot me. So I think I double that spot and I'll Draco me to that spot too because I have a bit, I have a feeling the lander is just going to come back out. And if not, whatever. Yeah, there's the parting shot onto the Reggie Drago. I think I'm like negative a billion at this point. Now, if the lander comes out, I might have gotten a pretty decent sizable chunk pick on the Lando while simultaneously getting the negative one on Lando from the lunge too. Listen, we play this out. We try our best. Yes. Okay, good. It ain't over till the heat ran sings. Draco Meteor. I was hoping that would crit, not gonna lie, but it's all right. That's as much damage as I was gonna get, period. They they don't care that my Reggie Draco is a Pokemon anymore, but thankfully I am gonna be able to swap in a relevant Pokemon. I get to kind of pick and choose what it's gonna be. I'm choosing Urshifu. There's nothing that Urshifu really cares about on their side. So it's time to click Surging Strikes. Reggie Drago like low-key outspeeds their whole team, so maybe I should just try to keep it alive. I'll go hard into Flutter. I gotta reset my stats here. My, my stats are kind of pitiful. I haven't pinned them. But I've found a way in. And I got my foot through the door. Can I get the door open is the question. Can't hide behind terrestrialization now. Can't hide. You better run, Heat Ran. I think they have to swap the Heat Ran, if anything. All right, let's swap out my Reggie Drago. Bring it back. Swap in the Flutter. See what they go for here. Get my speed booster, thank you. Yep, they swap out the Heat Ran. If they go into... Grim, I'm fine. Okay, I might be able... I might have enough to knock out the Grim here. Yeah, I do. Nice. Woo! Amazing. Got the free KO on the Grim. Lander shouldn't be able to do too much to me. And I'm pretty sure they're just going to go for the U-turn out anyway. Yeah, the U-turn out. They want that Intimidate. Not that it matters. Like, I'm critting you anyway. Do what you want to do. I'm going to crit you. Um, are they Rocky Helmet on this Landorus, though? That's the hard question. Back in the Heat Ran. Back in the Landorus, right? I'll be real. I'm not worried about Landorus. Like, I'm worried about Heat Ran. And I think if I double down into this Heat Ran, he ran's out of the game. This is clearly a very tanky Landorus variant, which is why I'm kind of okay with just ignoring it for now and letting it be. All right, they're swapping in the Guja. We get to see now how tanky it is and whether or not it has... Oh. Oh, no, no, no. And it has Rocky Helmet. It has Shell Armor Rocky Helmet. This is the this is the anti urshi Gudra. The literally eh, it's literally the anti urshi Gudra. Wow. It was impressive how little damage I did. We might be in some trouble still. I essentially get to pick and choose. Or I guess my opponent gets to pick and choose whether I knock out the Heat Ran or not. But I don't know how I'm getting rid of this Hootra. 
Hoodra has to go for the Urge. So I think I have to go for the Heat Ran. Because I don't think... Yeah, I don't think a single Surging Strikes is enough to knock out a Heat Ran. So I, I am going to have to hit it with my, my Flutter Man at least a little bit. Never mind. I could have probably done that. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe I needed that, that Shadow Ball. There's a very awkward amount of HP there. Alright. Who do you decide to take out? If they take out my Flutter Man, they're throwing. I think, at least. He ran falls. They heavy send my flutter. Hold on. I, they might be throwing. We'll see. We'll see. Because now I get the free shot into the Lando. Light screen wears off as well. Listen, if Reggie Drago can crit, we might have a game on our hands. My opponent has to choose very wisely here. And I think what they choose is the Reggie Drago spot because, again, my Ursh can't do anything anything to that Hoodra. So I could Surging Strikes this Lando and protect here to burn the Hoodra's attack attempt and give myself a, a Terra Blast, a Steel Blast next turn. Surging Strikes. Yo, Urshifu's taking a comeback here, man. Just like that. It's 2v1. Who did the Hoodra attack? Heart's pumping. That's a good sign. I'm alive. They body press the <laughs> We're in this. Don't mess. All right. Uh, negative two attack, though. Not the greatest thing ever. Uh, drain punch is resisted. This will probably end up killing me. So I don't actually know what to do. I, I, I still think I lose. <laughs> if I'm going to be real here. Well, hey, we'll try. We'll give it a shot. Let's Terra Blast. Maybe. Maybe this will do it. Who knows? Oh, it's so much damage. They could still throw here. No, they can't. I'm going to kill. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish off my own Urshifu. They, for some reason, decide to body or iron defense here, then maybe. Uh, I don't think there was anything else I could have done. I needed that crit there with the steel, the steel terror blast. A fun game, regardless. My opponent really, really was just like super prepared for dragon Pokemon in general with the whole fairy Terra Gudra. Not just that, they were prepared for Urshifu with the Rocky helping on that Gudra too. There's a lot of little tiny techs on my opponent's side of the field that almost gave them the victory just out of that. So GG's Gabo, you bested. The Spydops makes me think if I had any other Pokemon there, would this have gone differently? Maybe. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's Spydops video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much, Kens, for making a Spydops. I said this in the beginning of the video. I don't think I've ever used Spydops on the channel ever. Like in Series 1, in Series 2, in Reg C or in Reg D. This is the first time that I'm using Spydops, period. And it wasn't a horrible experience like I thought it was going to be. Like, I saw it in the Rental Coach chat. I looked at it. I'm like, well, I guess I have to do this. I'll never get another shot at doing this, huh? So I'm pleasantly surprised. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Um, and have yourselves a great night. I'm Kaz Sports. Peace out. Bye-bye.